Well, today we're doing a bucket list smoke. We're doing a suckling pig on the Kamado Joe. Stick around and we'll get into all the details. From my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Hey team, it's Scott from Bartlow's Barbecue. And today I wanna to thank Meat and Bone for sending this suckling pig to my house. It's helping me achieve a bucket list cook that I've been wanting to do for a long time. My brother and I got into competition barbecue last year. I think this is a great stepping stone into whole hog big cooking uh, at competitions one day. So I'm gonna show you the agenda and the plan of what we're gonna do to prepare this suckling pig. But a suckling pig is essentially a piglet that was nursed on a mother's milk, and then it was butchered between two weeks and six weeks. And this is a um, probably under 11 pound suckling pig. I'll put a link uh, to meat and bone in the description and also a little picture of the style of um, suckling pig this is. So cannot wait to get into this, bring you in. I'm gonna show you how we are going to prepare this this, but essentially we're going to show you how we trim it we're going to season it we're going to inject it we're going to do a few other steps along the way prepare the kamado joe and smoke it until it's probe tender and show you how to cut it at the very end and if you find value in this video today be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future and also i would love to hear your thoughts throughout this cook so be sure to make comments in this video let's get into it all right team now let's show you how we are going to trim this and get this ready for the smoker. So again, we're gonna flip this on the other side, show you what we've done. And you'll wanna get some paper towels. I put this in the refrigerator um, after I've kind of already done a lot of trimming and we're gonna let it pat dry, but we're also wanted to kind of get some air to some cold air to the outside of the skin. Um, and that's gonna help us get a nice uh, color on it and crispy skin when it's time. All right, my friends, throw this away. All right, so what you're gonna first do when you get this is you're gonna turn it over and just like you're spatchcocking a chicken or something like that, you're gonna take the vertebrae, the, the ribs, and you're gonna just push until you hear a cracking noise. And once you hear the cracking noise, you are ready to go. And then essentially you just wanna take your bony knife and I've already done this process, uh, but essentially you're gonna take any um, unappealing um, you know, items here and skin, you're gonna remove any membrane um, from the outer part. We're gonna leave it, leave it on the actual rib since we're gonna eat on the uh, skin side but we're just removing any kind of the liver uh, and unnecessary flappy skin. And then once we do that, we pat it dry and you're ready to go. That's how you get it into this position. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of juices when you take it out of the package. So you're gonna use a lot of napkins, uh, paper towels to kind of uh, mop things down. But from here, we are going to be injecting this um, little uh, suckling pig and we'll get um, the shoulders here and the ham back here. And we're gonna be trying to get it into the very tender spots um, up here, 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 and here are our main spots a little bit here and there. And I'll be using Heath Riles pork injection and brine. And we've already um, got this made up with some apple cider vinegar and his pork injection. And then we'll just take this here and again, we're gonna go into the um, shoulders here. You don't wanna to go too far um, so you get through the skin. So you gotta be careful of that. And it's okay if we get a little pooling because I'll dab this dry. From here, we're gonna pat dry a lot of this pooling and then we're gonna season it. And you could season it first and then do this, but kind of the big idea for me is I'm able to allow the season to kind of saturate and stick to all this good stuff. So what we're gonna do now is use my sweet red dirt rub. This is the rub I just came out with. Uh, it's really great on pork and it's great on ribs as well. And 
it's also it's an all-purpose so it's good on beef but we're gonna literally just get this saturated all inside got some flies up in here that's okay we're not seasoning the outside because we're going to let the smoke do all of uh, the smoking on the outside of the skin but we want to do our best to give ourselves the best opportunity for seasoning on the inside i think my friends we've got it and just pat this in there all right let this kind of saturate into this side and then we'll flip it over we're going to start the grill i'm going to put this in the refrigerator while i start the grill and then we'll bring you back out let's fire up the connected joe you can do this on any Kamano Joe you would like. We're gonna be setting the temperature to 250 to 275. I'm gonna be using the automatic mode to continue to showcase the connected features. Uh, so again, we're gonna be using lump charcoal and then we're gonna be, today I'm gonna be using cherry wood. You can use pecan or post oak, but I wanna get a little bit more of a sweet flavor on this suckling pig. So we're using two wood chunks, put that in the center of the firebox, dump the lump charcoal over that. And now we're gonna set the temperature again to 250. We've already powered this on. Now we are going to set uh, the temperature using the knob here. We're gonna go again, 250 to, actually I'm gonna set it to, I find this gets five degrees to 10 degrees difference. So I'm gonna set it for 255. And then from here, keep this closed. We're gonna crack this as it uh, suggests on the control tower. And then we're gonna push the automatic fire starter button it's going to light up and it's going to take about 10 minutes to get this thing up to temperature once it does i'll bring you back and we'll put the suckling pig on here i have one other step i'm going to show you before we get to smoking and then we'll just show you a few other tips and tricks along the way until we get a suckling pig that's ready to shred at the very end all right friends we got the grill up to temperature and now we are going to pat dry the suckling pig make sure there's no um, juices on the outside of the skin or any rub so that we can have a really nice crisp skin we're gonna put this in the um, racing position and then we're gonna put foil on the ears and the snout so it doesn't burn so let's do that now i'm gonna get it in the position first There we go. And then I'm gonna pat this dry. I do see some spots with the seasoning. I'm gonna clear that up. And this is the moment where if you wanted to be have fun and you wanted to open the mouth and put an apple in there, you could do that. But we're not gonna do that on this cook for the most part this is looking good throw that away do the same thing with the ears So far, here's a summer of what we've done. We have trimmed this suckling pig. We have cut everything out. Then we have injected it. We've seasoned it. We pat it dry. We allowed the skin on the outside to crisp up a little bit in the refrigerator. Then from here, we foiled the ears, got the Kamado Joe up to 270. So you go between 250 to 275, even 300 if you like. Uh, and then We've now placed that in the running position or the racing position, and we're gonna let this smoke for a few hours. Uh, and then here in a few hours, I'll bring you back. We're gonna spray it with duck fat spray uh, to continue to build the color on the outside and help it not burn. That's something I uh, researched and it said that would be a great addition to this cook. So we're gonna do that, follow those directions. And then from there, we're gonna literally it's pretty easy cook. We're gonna let it smoke until it hits 190, 195, and it's probe tender. And when we do that, we'll let it rest for uh, 10, 15 minutes. 
We'll slice open the sides and then we'll show you uh, how tender this is. I have some Carolina sauce I'm gonna make up to drizzle on there as well. And we'll have some good eating and then give a summary on the end and how we did. So stick around. All right, friends, we are a little over one hour and we've kind of settled it in at 300 degrees. And because it, the temperature is a little bit higher, I wanna check in on this since it's a smaller suckling pig to see what the color is and see if it's time to spray. Let's do that now. Look at that color, my friends. That is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to spray this. Make sure that it continues to build um, a great color and crispy skin. And now we're gonna just let it ride until it's probe tender. All right, Tim, we've been smoking this for three hours and we're already at probe tenderness. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Look at that color, but just to kind of show you, we're gonna do, get the ham in the shoulder here. Back there, we're at 180, which is great. Here, we're already at 200. 180 in that part, 190 in that part, two to 200. So we're between that 180 to 200 in some, spar, uh, some spots. So for me, I'm gonna let it rest and carry over cooking. We've got great color. I mean, literally great color and crispy skin. Just double checking. Yep, that's 200 right there. Yeah, 188 to 190. So we're pretty much there. I'm gonna remove this, let it, the carryover cooking happen to, uh, again, some spots in the 180, it's more like 200 in the shoulders and the ham, it's around that 185. So I'm feeling really good about that. We're gonna take these heat gloves and move this over, let it rest for about 10 minutes and then we'll talk about um, I'm going to get you a close-up what this looks like. There you go. Check that out. See the underneath? <laughs> All right, friends. We have finished this up. We let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. Now we are going to slice this down here, kind of the, the backbone down, and peel it back. We'll do both sides to kind of showcase what we all the meat that we can get. So see here. Go down. I'm gonna go down a little further this way. There we go. I'll show you. Oh, it's already. All right, my friend, I'm hoping, I'm gonna see, I can, I'm hoping I can see this. Ooh, buddy, it's hot. We're just gonna peel this back. That's right, there we go. There we are. There we are. So just like that, I think you can see what we're doing. I've got a warming glove and then my nitrile gloves and then we'll just literally just start getting in here and then for presentation I almost forgot you can put down some kale to kind of show this off like that all around the tray uh, and then you can slice it and serve it from this side and then this is where you're getting some of that fat all that fat All right, we finished up slicing, we've picked, and I'll show you what uh, that final picking looks like, but we got as much as we could. I think I've got about three pounds worth of meat here, uh, and that includes the plate um, that you're seeing on the screen. Uh, but this looks good. I put some Carolina sauce, I put the Carolina um, ingredient description in the uh, bio. We're using Sweet Red Dirt. I've topped it off with that again, so we're gonna just find a good piece here. Yes! Mmm! 
just so tender and juicy. I'm just kind of thinking about the, the flavor profile besides the Carolina sauce and the sweet red dirt. You just get that natural porky taste. Man, that is delicious. Cannot wait to continue to serve this to my family. Here we go again. All right. I'm loving it. All right, what a fun cook, smoking a suckling pig. Check it off that bucket list. Man, that was super exciting. Let me just review what we did. We trimmed it. Uh, we removed all the guts inside uh, and the membrane and all that kind of stuff. Then we injected it with some Heath Riles injection, pork injection, sweet red dirt, my rub, all over the inside. Then we used cherry wood chunks to get that smoke flavor onto the suckling pig. We let it smoke. We spritzed it or we sprayed it with some duck fat spray about an hour into it. The temperature landed around 300 degrees versus 250 to 275. So it quick cooked quicker than anticipated. So I stayed on it to make sure that it didn't overcook. And overall, man, we got to probe tenderness between 188 and 195 and 200 in some of the parts of the shoulder and about 185 in the ham. So I decided to pull it around that time, let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We sliced it into it, show you how we kind of sliced uh, against that backbone, pulled uh, the skin back, and then we started picking and starting to get, uh, start shredding the um, suckling pig. And my friends, it was really good. We got about three pounds worth of meat out of there. And the only thing I would do differently is maybe let it smoke a little bit longer, but I would just go bi a bigger hog so we get more meat out of this. That's probably my only thing I wish we had more of is just more porkiness uh, from this suckling pig. And I just will upgrade next time to the larger hog. Overall, this was a great first suckling pig. Let me know in the comments what you thought uh, of this cook. If there's things you've done, we'd love to hear them. We'll pin them in the comments as well. And don't forget, if you're interested in Sweet Red Dirt, I'm always running deals on the website at bartlowsbarbecue.com. And again, I want to thank Meat and Bone. We'll have a description and a link for them uh, as well. If you want to check them out, they've got some great cuts of meat and some things like suckling pigs and even up to a huge uh, whole hog. So definitely check them out if you haven't heard of them. This was really fun. And again, thank you so much for watching. And I want to encourage you, we'll be hitting, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing a huge giveaway on the channel, giving a Kamado Joe and a few other things. So be sure to subscribe and also share this with others so we can reach that milestone so we can bless you with a Kamado Joe and a few other things. Again, so thankful for watching and we'll see you next time. From my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue.